Alright, so in the last video, I instructed um, everyone to download Termux from the Google Play Store, which is normally what you would have done a couple years ago, but not too long ago, Termux has moved from the Google Play Store due to some constraints or something, so the developer has moved uh, future developments for Termux to F-Droid. So you're, one again, you're going to want to get F-Droid from their website. So if you download it from the Google Play Store, it still works, but because it's not getting updates anymore, certain things will fail to function in the future. So what I recommend doing is uninstalling this. Now, it's actually a process to switch from the Google Play Store version to the F-Droid version, and the process basically involves uninstalling every single part of the Google Play version off of your device. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I've reinstalled it on my Tab S6, just so we can have a good baseline. So I'm going to uninstall Termux. All right, now you're gonna wanna get F-Droid from fdroid.org. That's where you can get their official APK and that way you won't have any issues, no viruses or anything like that. I've uh, downloaded it a couple times and already installed it on multiple devices, so I already have it on here. I'm just gonna go to, I'll probably have to search it. I will put the link in the description for F-Droid. Now, when you first open it, it's going to update the repositories, and I don't know if it's doing that this time. No, it's not seem to be doing that this time. All right, so here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Um, F-Droid is basically just another app store, so all you're gonna do is press this green search button. Might be different for you. We're gonna type in Termux, and we are going to install it. So as you can see, Termux has multiple parts. On the Google Play version, you had to buy them separately. It appears that the developer has made them free. Everything on F-Droid is free. So you shouldn't have to pay for anything. I think some of these may have in-app purchasing through various features, but I've never really encountered anything like that, or I've never used anything that has it. So we're gonna go to Termux unknown application. And then we are going to install if we can. All right, so I've actually had this issue before um, and what I had to do was search online and get it from the Termux, I mean the F-Droid website. Uh, let's see if we can actually search that on F-Droid. I don't know if you can search for apps on F-Droid, but let's see if we can. Oh, great. Find apps. All right, Termux. So if it doesn't install, um, a lot of times on Android, sometimes it'll seem like something isn't compatible, but it might be. Like certain apps are designed specifically for a phone, but they still function on a tablet. So what you'll have to do is either download the app on a device on which it is compatible and then extract the APK, or you can find it online. So F-Droid makes it really easy for us. So we can just search it and here's Termux right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if there is, all right, uh, we have F-Droid, but we want to get the actual package. So right here where it says download APK, we're just going to click that. And remember, you want to get it from fdroid.org, that's where there's no issues. So we're just going to download that. And... Okay, it looks like I'm going to connect this one down once. Okay, perfect. No download files. Right. All right, well, if it downloaded, it should be in the downloads folder, so let's check. Uh, you can use any file browser you like. I like Mesplorer, just because I can set a bunch of bookmarks, which really save me time. All right, let's make that nice and big. I might have to reset the app. And let's go to the downloads folder. And there we go, the com.termux underscore 117.apk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install that. All right, so I was really scared when I first saw this because I was like, oh no, why isn't it installing? Um, if, there, if you don't already know this, Android apps are each signed with a key by each and every developer. So every time a developer makes an app, they have to literally put in information and then that gets literally like encoded when the app gets turned into an APK. So you can almost imagine an APK as like a box 
with like a special lock on it. So because the Google Play version was signed with one key and this app was signed with a different key, even though they're different apps, Android is not going to allow it to install if there's any you know, parts and pieces that are incompatible. So basically, there's still a part of the Google Play app still installed. So what we need to do is find that. But thankfully I already know what it is because I left it on here. Um, remember when I said there were different parts to Termux? Well, let's go ahead and search what other stuff Frederick Fornwell has made. He made a float thing, he made a widget, but he also made styling. Styling is really nice so you can style the text. However, we don't want this from the Google Play Store anymore because this is signed with the same key as all the other Google Play Store stuff. So I'm going to uninstall this. So this is the process. You just want to make sure that every single part of whatever Termux setup you had previously is gone. So that's uninstalled. So let's try that again. We're going to go to our downloads folder and go to our APK that we downloaded. So I left stuff on purposely, but like if you're doing this, just make sure you uninstall all the parts of Termux and you can search that um, from your device settings. It will might be easier or harder depending on the manufacturer. Samsung makes it really easy, but just go ahead and search it. All right, so let's try installing this again. All right, so the app installed and we're going to uh, just do done for now because I actually want to install styling so I can finish setting it up. So when we search Termux, uh, Termux styling, it appears, oh wait, that's not compatible either. All right, it doesn't want to install that either. That's okay, or does it? We can. Nope, all right. So once again, we're just gonna to go to the website and download it from there. I think I could just press the that key. All right, here's styling. Once again, we're just gonna download the APK that they have for us. I just want the latest one. So that'll be the top APK, it looks like. I'm just gonna download that. Okay, another cool thing. Um, I don't know if this is shown in every single file manager, but in this file manager, if a file is not completely downloaded, it'll show up as a dot pending and then the file name. So that way you can know whether or not you can use the file. So we're just gonna click refresh again, should be nice and downloaded, and there it is, Termux Styling. So let's go ahead and install that. And I'll show you how to access styling in just a second because I got to make the text bigger. All right, so we have the latest updates with the F-Droid version of Termux. So let's go ahead and open that. It's going to install. All right, so let's go ahead and open that up. A keyboard shortcut to make the text bit bigger is Control plus the Alt button plus the plus equals button. And you're gonna to wanna to press all of those at the same time. So just Control equals plus, 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 plus. All right, and that makes it a little bit bigger. I want to style my text just a little bit. Um, so there's like other things that Termos can do. You have to install various add-ons. I've already installed style add-on. And I'm gonna choose the color. I usually choose green screen if I can find it. Where do you go? All right. Uh, the strange cut is because my video recorder kind of messed up, so I had to change some stuff around, fix this, fix that, yak yak. Anyway, basically what I did is I long clicked, or is it right click? Oh yeah. Uh, so if you're using a mouse and keyboard, you can just, uh, I believe it's right click. I went to style, I ch um, just to show you the color I chose, I chose base 16, green screen, dark. And then for the font, I've just got monoid working. I'm gonna have to look through this again to see which font I actually like, but that's basically what I did. I did base 16, green screen, and then monoid for the font. Okay, so this will be the end of this first part. In the next part, we'll do Andronix and we'll go from there. But I just wanted to get this video out because it's actually kind of crucial. I literally had to uninstall my installations of Termux across all of my tablets just to make sure I had the latest version because certain things weren't working in Linux certain things weren't working in certain distros so and you never know what the issues are going to be if you're not up to date so i totally totally recommend you do the same update termux is a vital part of this whole linux on android ecosystem so make sure you have the latest version 
and I hope I've helped out with that. Anyway, thanks for watching.